Hi guys, welcome to a video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill. Just a quick introduction for people who haven't seen my films before. Um, I'm a UK reseller based in South Wales and I go around car boot sales, charity shops, buy stuff privately and then I resell it hopefully on for a profit. Um, if you're overseas, yard sales, garage sales, thrift stores, that type of thing. Now, I'll buy mainly antiques, collectibles and vintage, but there's nothing really I won't buy, um, period. If I can think I can make something off it, I tend to buy it and try and sell it on. Now, that's the purpose of today's video. I've selected 10 pieces from some of my sales from since Christmas. And I'm going to talk to you about what I've sold, how long I've had them, what the item is, and what sort of money I've paid and what sort of money I've made. Now, I don't do these for myself, I make these videos to help you, give you an idea of what's actually currently selling on eBay or other platforms at this moment in time. Now, what sells for me might not sell for you, but it's a start. If you see what I'm selling and you come across it outside, then pick it up. So, um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to talk about the items and they're going to pop up along here so you can actually take a look at them. So we're going to start off with an absolute gem of an item. It's an old doctor's bag, known as a Gladstone bag, made of leather. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful piece in lovely condition. I don't think I've ever had one as nice as this. Now, I bought it a while back. I, I bought this in the summer. So I've had it for a good six months. And it's been up for sale on eBay. Now, I could have sold it straight away. I put it up for sale on eBay for £500. And I had offers of £200, £250 almost immediately. So it is what I consider to be a fast seller. However, I held out. Um, I paid £40 for it. So even the 200s and 250 offers would have been a great buy. So that would have been a good profit. However, from all the reading I was doing, all the celebrities and the very well-off people now use the Gladstone bags as overnight bags for their toiletries and things and I thought you know what it's such a nice example I'm gonna hold out well I actually sold it um, I think it was a week about a week ago for 450 pounds so that is a really really good return um, for well it was a very safe investment I must admit now move on from there my next item I actually had it in the shop here for two months three months and I was very disappointed. I purchased it again summertime and it, because of the size of it I didn't want to put it on the internet. It was very large so I put it in the shop here and I thought you know what it's gonna fly out. Basically it is a late Victorian silver plate wine or champagne cooler or bucket whatever you want to call it ice bucket. It was quite a large example in lovely condition um, as you can see from the photos really really nice and I paid, I think it was 20 or 25 pounds for that in the summertime, and I just sold that for 125 pounds. So again, really, really good profit. Could have sold it faster. Um, it was only on eBay for about a week. Once I listed it, I sold it within a week. Um, so I sat in the shop, and it was actually cheaper in the shop. In the shop, because I didn't have the hassle of selling it, packing and shipping it, I was only priced up at 65 or 75 pounds in the shop for it. So that was one there where it went on eBay, it sold straight away and made me more money. So that was really, really good. Now, about a month ago, maybe November time-ish, so maybe two months ago, um, I went to Bessemer Road Car Boot Sale and I bought a Valspar two to four hour lacquer advertising sign, shop sign. This was double-sided and if you remember, it cost me one pound. I. I've had it for a while, but I haven't done nothing with it. I haven't been up for sale. Um, I put it in the shop here about three weeks ago, um, and no interest at all. Well, I read on my shop window yesterday. I listed it yesterday afternoon and sold it last night uh, for a hundred pounds. I, I put it up for 125, and I took a hundred pounds on this, so I was really pleased with that. Signs always do well, um, but. It, didn't expect it to sell that fast. I was probably a little underpriced on eBay. But again, I had 95 on it in the shop and I put 125 on it on eBay and sold it for 100. So I achieved more than I was asking for in my shop. Now, one thing you know, I always buy and sell very fast and very well are miners' lamps. 
Now, the first one, this one here now, I sold for £85 and it would have cost me about £20, £22 from a car boot sale in Cardiff. But this one was English, it's an Eccles company. Uh, the ones you normally see me have are Thomas and Williams, they're the Welsh ones. The Welsh ones sell 10 times faster than the English for some reason or around here they do anyway. Um, but it was still a nice miner's lamp, sold for £85 but it has been up for quite a while, it was a slow seller. Normally I'd expect miners lamps to sell a lot faster than that, I'd say I had that one for about four months, maybe a bit more, maybe five. Uh, this next piece, <laughs> I've actually had it for over a year. Um, I buy a lot of hunting horns and things like that, uh, copper and brass horns. I do really, really well with them. Well, about a year ago, I saw this horn on this base and it was mounted as a vase. It had the mesh in the front, so you could use it as a bit of a vase, but it was more decorative item. And I put it up for sale for £75 a year ago. I've had numerous emails, including someone saying, I've got the identical one to it if you want to sell a pair, because a pair sells better than a single any day. And I said, no, thank you, you buy mine and uh, you can sell that. I wouldn't have paid much for it, probably about four or five pound. Anyway, um, been on for a year. Seller messaged me about two weeks ago. He said, if you can ship it today, I'll buy it. I said, I can't ship today, but I'll ship it first thing in the morning and you'll have a next day delivery. He bought it, it's gone. Took a year to sell, but hunting horns normally sell. And I thought because it was hunting horn related, you know, I thought somebody would love that on an ornament, a hunting lodge or something like that. It'd be quite a unique item. I try to go for things that are a little different if I can. Um, and it sold for full price, £75. They didn't even knock me down. Now, next piece here is a Thomson Williams lamp. Now, you can see the difference. Now, this is quite a lot later um, lamp. It's probably a 1990s lamp. Um, sold for £55. But it was on for what two or three weeks, something like that, and again would come in for 20 25 pounds from car boot sale. I tend to find miners' lamps are priced around 20 quid quite regularly, and then I sell them on uh, and do very well with them. 55 pounds for a modern uh, Thompson Williams miners' lamp is a very good price, it was a strong price. But miners' lamps, I recently had one of the first Thomas Evans miners' lamps before Williams joined. And it was from 1873, 1874, somewhere around there. Uh, it was pre-1875, I know that, because um, I sold it to a gentleman, quite local, who does lectures on them. And that was an early clanny lamp. Oh, it was really, really nice. And that came in for 20, 25, and I sold it for 220, something like that. So miners' lamps, guys, are a big tip. Anything mining-related, snuff boxes, twist boxes, um, lamps, checks, tokens, things like that, always do really well. Um, it wasn't that long ago, if you remember, I bought three little miners' lamp checks. Uh, they're a safety check, so if you went underground, they knew who was underground. I bought three for three pounds and sold one for 315, another one for 220, and I got the final one up for sale now. So mining stuff, guys, big, big tip. Moving on from that is a really nice mid-century Pico Way tea set. Now I sold this for £52 for the entire thing. The price has really come down on these. Now that's the tray, it was the teapot, cream, sugar and a water I think if I remember correctly. So it was quite a few pieces there for the £52 and it was a fair bit of packing. But it came in for £2 or £3 from Gethley Gay Car Boot Sale in the summer holidays. Didn't do nothing with it on eBay, put it in the shop, yet again another one that didn't sell. Uh, put it on eBay, it sold within 3-4 weeks. No problem at all. Now, a little tip for the Pico way, if you can get the kettle, that can pull £100 plus on his own. So, keep your eye open for the kettle. Okay, moving on, um, the next pieces were Swarovski crystal candle holders in the form of lily flowers. They come in numerous sizes, small, medium, large. These were I'd say smallish version, they were about you know, they were about four centimetres diameter. They weren't the large ones by any means. Now, Swarovski crystal is something I buy and sell as often as I can. If I can find it, I buy it. And more often than not, I buy it for next to fifty pence at car boot sales because people will just see a little crystal animal and they don't care. 
uh, in fact the, the one lily candle holder I had from Bessemer Road for 50 pence and it had the um, swan back stamp. I went to Bridgen multi-story a week later and found the identical candle holder but it had the Swarovski Block S which is the limited edition or discontinued black back stamp. I put them two together so they owed me £20.50 and I sold the pair for £60. It took about four weeks, five weeks for them to sell. So Swarovski Crystal is a very, very fast seller. If you can buy it, it's good, good quality. Be it, what you're looking for is a little swan in etched glass on the base or a block S. Really, really good stuff, guys. Uh, next piece, I had a seller come into the shop and sold me a heap. Waterford Crystal, Galloway Crystal, you name it, I had tons of the stuff. Anyway, this vase probably owes me about five to eight pound out of the job lot and it sold for 50 pounds. I put it up to 75, I took an offer of 50, but this was a big lump of Irish crystal, guys. Really nice quality. Uh, Galloway Crystal, I haven't sold loads of it, but I tell you what, it sold quite fast. In fact, it sold faster than the Waterford Crystal Bowl I put up, so it's obviously worth buying at the moment. Final piece for today's video, I've only selected 10, I wanted to show you uh, my top 10 uh, since Christmas. I've obviously had quite a few sales since Christmas, if anybody wants to go on there and have a browse on my eBay, it's Antiques Arena Clearance, and you'll see all my sales through Christmas and on. Um, but my final one is a ship's decanter, so it's crystal again, or cut glass, whatever way you want to call it. Now th this was an unsigned decanter, but the pattern, I identified the pattern from the website replacements.com that I did use, and it was the start of Edinburgh pattern, so I attributed it and told them it wasn't signed and still achieved £50. That decanter would have cost me 6 or £7 from Bessemer Road, but I did have it a while. It was another one that was in, because I got a full selection of decanters in the bottom of the uh, cabinet there. And it was another one I've had here for a while. Listed it on eBay, and I'd say it took about eight weeks, seven weeks to sell. That's not a bad turnaround. It really isn't. So, as you can see, it's a good variety of items. Quality for everyone. Now, if you work out, there's ten items there for 50, 60, 50, 70, 50. It's about 11 and a half, 1200 pound. So you're talking there's an average there, well over 100 pound per item. Now the good thing about that is it doesn't matter if you sell a one pound item or a 100 pound item, it takes the same amount of time to list them, same amount of time to wrap them and ship them. So you just well be doing, your, doing it with a higher average. Guys, honestly, I really hope you've enjoyed and I hope having a look at my soils helps you understand what's actually selling at this moment in time because half the time I don't know myself <laughs> um, so I'll keep making these and hopefully they'll help I've got some really nice uh, pieces that have come in in the whole of recent I had a real nice not sure if it's a Lee Stein or a replica brooch but it's absolutely gorgeous that'll be in my next uh, treasure hunt or haul film thanks for watching guys bye for now